Howdy doody there, uh, ladies and mushroom tips. How are you guys doing? So today, we got a little break in the 100 degree days. And it is pretty much going to be in the 80s today. Meaning it's going to be in the 70s in the mountains. Meaning that it's actually going to be cool enough for me to be able to go up there and get me a little few view ropes, a little chicharino, and a little bit of some riding time. But holy shit, the weather has been just completely just straight asshole lately and I do not miss the summertime at all it is absolutely horrible so as of late you know uh haven't been able to be doing much riding like I just said it's been hot as fuck we just had the uh, Amazon Prime Day pass recently and I got this little thing <laughs> that I didn't think would actually be good I thought it'd just be some little like stupid like not even worth the money but I gave it a shot and it ended up being one of the coolest things ever and I'm going to get to use it today and it's a little neck fan you wrap around your neck it's got a little 10,000 milliamp battery pack that charges attached to it and it's got two little like fans on these little arms you just put it around your neck and you just point the fans on these little like bendy it's got these little bendy things you just put it wherever you want and uh so basically when I'm up here because me you know, I sweat like a fucking pig in 200 degree heat, cooking like some fresh bacon. It's perfect for me, most likely. So I haven't got to use it in full use, like, you know, going up here and using it. But uh, I'm excited to try it out. Damn, I'm, all, I'm getting passed up by the short bus. It's funny that deer crossing sign's always been there, but like I've never once, ever, ever in my life seen deer here ever in this whole in this whole mountain range right here i've never seen deer and the only place i've seen wild deer out here was and i think i got it on a video was like uh it was behind the old college campus of uh sam ucsb and fun fact i can actually feel the weather getting cooler it's so nice oh man this is nice i haven't been out in a while i haven't drove my because my miata you know it's supercharged uh, it, does, it doesn't run hot or anything and i'm, I'm sure it's totally fine but when it's like over like 85 degrees 90 i don't really ride it not only not only do i not drive it just for the sake of like it being hot like for the motor but um inside the car it's hot as shit because i don't really have the, the ac turns on i think it just needs to be charged i'm thinking of going to my chooch point up there instead of going up to crestline or i could do both look at that beautiful view rope right there Got a little bit of some dark clouds like right here. It's all fucking humid as shit. Oh damn, I hope those aren't rain clouds. I woke up this morning and I was sweating because it was humid as fuck. And I was like, what the hell? And it said 60% chance of rain. Like this, damn, was there like a fire here? All this red shit dumped on the ground right here. Um, and it said 60% chance of rain. And I'm like, oh bitch, but probably those rogue little clouds like that because look at all the other spots around here all right now the now the age-old question do i want to go up my chooch point route which is right here or do i want to go to lake gregory look at this beautiful ass view i mean it's not that beautiful it's just waterman canyon but uh it's nice out what are these bushes called right here a lot of you guys know, like, every time I mention a bush, and be like, what's this? You guys seem to fucking know it really well in the chat, in the comment section. What's this one right here? I see these a lot. i got those little stick balls on them. Well, look at this baby just blooming all nice and healthy. Damn, look at those stickers on there. Ooh, those are sharp. wonder if those are, like, little, like, protection things to keep, like, birds from landing on them. Look how nice that looks. That's pretty. Oh, look, there's a bee right there. Bees are just fucking sucking these off like it wasn't nothing. And right here, this mystery right here. See this water right here? My guess is I always see this, right? Just random little things of water right here. And I keep wondering if, like, there's just some random, like, good Samaritan that takes a woman up here, beats cheeks, and then goes, you know what? I'm going to leave some water here just in case somebody overheats. I think that's what somebody's been doing. Oh, it looks like there's a tampon right there and a condom right there. Some dude just got his fucking certified red wings right there. That's fucking gross. I don't want to jinx it, but this shit's some straight fire danger status. Look how fucking dry this is. Look at all this shit is crumbling in my hand. Let's get to going. 
I only have like one and a half batteries today too, so my dumb ass didn't put my other batteries to charge my last time out. You know, I think I'm going to go up to my chute spot right here because I'll be all alone and I won't have to worry about anybody around. I like places I can go where I'm just by myself and I just feel like I'm like one with nature's squirt hole. You know what I'm saying? Please don't give me another flat. Please don't give me another flat. Yeah, I'm even coming up just this far. It feels a lit, just a little cooler. Someone was smoking the backwoods right there. I've yet to come across. A, whoa! What the fuck is that? Oh shit! Investigation time. Someone's capping off some nine millimeter Luger rounds here. What the fuck is this? Get that. Could you try again? Bitch, what the fuck are you listening to me for? What the fuck is this? It says, and it also says fragile this side up. Oh, it's an empty crate. Damn, I could use this in my garage to store shit in. Holy fuck. Damn, I wish I could throw that on my bike. IPA. Purple Princess. Damn, someone smoked an entire quarter up here. That's my man. Let's continue up to the chooch zone. Damn, people got balls just coming up just this few little feet to go shoot guns. That should be loud as fuck from the highway. And you'd be getting some fucking straight, probably jail time out of that. Man, you know what? I'm wondering when this damn, like, chip shortage is gonna damn fix itself because I saw Garden Snake make a video today because he's been trying to, uh, get a Honda 300L like me, like the little dual sports. And just like, just like the luck out here, I haven't even seen one of those things for sale. And also, I'm wondering, I bet you, if you guys, if you guys haven't been keeping track, go take a look at how the used car market's been. Cars that are like, I, I've been seeing stories on TikTok of dudes that are like, fucking selling their cars back to dealerships for plus 20 grand of what they paid like two years ago with like 30,000 plus to 50,000 plus miles put on it and shit. I have a real, I have a real, uh, real bad feeling that, that the used car market's going to come just crashing down hard as fuck. And then I'm going to take that time to go ahead and try to find me a, I'll probably use that time to go ahead and find me a new dual sport then. I'll probably find them like a what nut and then maybe, I don't know. Dual sports just aren't made as, as much as they used to be, at least out here. They're out, I mean, there's some out there, but I feel like there's a lot more options back then. Like all the grandfathered versions in that that are, that are still around on the California streets. That's the cool thing, and that's why those, oh man, bikes that were grandfathered in, like old like WR 426s or whatever the fuck those things are called, uh, those bikes are all grandfathered in, and uh, you still see them out and about, but man, when those things are for sale, you're looking at like 7, 8K for them and shit, because you'll never, there'll never be those bikes again for sale for street. Holy shit, look at this fucking guy. Dude, that ant's carrying an entire spider by himself. I can still feel the humidity pretty damn bad. Still working. All right, I think my glove keeps hitting this damn dial. I need to be careful with that. I'll be like, oh, and fucking call 911 on myself. All right, so synopsis. That fan thing works fucking awesome. This is it right here, look. You put these this thing on. Got level one, two, three. Oh, yeah, it feels fucking fire. You just put this over your neck and it's bent it towards you. It actually kept me cool from sweating and shit. I like that. There's this truck that keeps creeping. He was he was up there, then he went right there, and then he's right there. He's, like, literally creeping up. And he keeps stopping. Let's go ride right up to him. What's up? 
Uh, yeah, where'd you come from? Uh, up top by Willie Visionize. Oh, uh, if you want to follow me, there, that that right there will take you down to the 18. Oh, okay. This part, will, this way, will be a little a little steep for you. All right. But this this is an actual fire road that takes you down. All right, I was just going to go over. Yeah, just back up and then go down there, and it'll be the it'll just be an easy little ride down. All right, All right take it easy. That's why he was creeping up to me. He just didn't know which way he was going. I was a little worried. I was like, what the fuck is this guy creeping up to me for? Oh man, my dumbass didn't bring no hat or anything to block the sun from me. So I am literally like, I need I need, a, I need somewhere to park where there's like, an, like a cover or an awning or something. <laughs> Cause it is way too hot out, dude. That sun is just so brutal, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if my fucking GoPro overheats in this damn heat. So he actually took his Toyota all the way from that, uh, that fire road up where that damn tower is at. Holy shit. He just went on a fucking little trip on his own. I think I'm going to be smart and do a tire check too when I get out of this road. That last fucking screw I had on my tire, I don't even know where the hell I got that thing from. I bet you it was probably from one of the most mundane spots, too. Like, all this shit I ride just fine, and it was probably, like, from a damn, like, from the street. If my engine had a forehead right now, it would have beads of sweat coming down it. Well, once I hit Crestline, it should, the weather should be in the 70s up there. said it was going to be a high 75, so that's perfectly fine. Look, more jugs of water. Two, actually four jugs. I'm telling you, somebody's probably just being nice and helping somebody out in case they like overheat or something or lose coolant, etc. They're not pushing this poor engine and this heat and my fat ass up the hill. This poor thing. I wouldn't be surprised if it just blows up underneath me. Ooh, the clouds look kind of weird up here. They look all like blankety. nice for a poor shit. I wonder if this bike would be worth like upgrading the intake on. Like kind of how like my Honda Groms is with like the Ram Air one. Because this has an air box under the seat. It does have a hole cut in the top like the, the air box mod. But um, I don't know. I feel like this, this bike could use a lot more airflow into the motor. Damn I got a fucking Red Bull truck even about to pass me up. Like he's got wings or something. had a bug dick slap me right in front of my right eyeball we're almost there we're almost there my poor bike's just like <gasps> god i'm like right at a fucking steep grade where it's too much for fucking third but too little for fourth hate that hey but it does feel a lot better to the old loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh man, it's beautiful. Man, it's a good thing I did this on a fresh oil change. <laughs> this shit would... I was putting this fucking motor in 100% stress mode. Man, even up here it is hot and humid. But we are in Crestline, population 10,770. That's a lot of dickheads for this little mountain town. There's Old Mill Road to go up towards Silverwood. But Silverwood's a little, I think it's a little lower in, in uh, elevation. It's actually a lot hotter there than it is up here. So we're going to do a little chill Lake Gregory hangout today. I think we got big old ram. Ooh, I haven't seen an El Camino like that in a minute. My dad had an old 77 Ranchero and man we used to we took that thing to oregon and back multiple times we drove it to idaho all the way up to boise and back and that thing never once broke down on my dad ever an old 77 ranchero that was an extremely extremely reliable engine in that thing bowling and entertainment center 
Do, you bowl, do any of you guys like bowling? I fucking love bowling. I haven't been there in forever. Damn. If there's any day to go out right now in the water, it's right now. Shit, it's so nice out. Man, where would be a good spot? Like right here, I've never chilled here or anything. I need a nice little shade spot. Dude, I'm so jealous of those balconies. That's so cool. Man. I bet that's a blast just having that as your little balcony. Just have your coffee up there and chill. A little coffee and cheech. I'm going to go ahead and park the bike right over here. This bike's desperately in need of a little fucking breather right now. And we made it out to Lake Gregory. Ooh. Humidity didn't go down at all coming up here. And the water looks like really green today. Little ferry boat out there. It's beautiful out. It's beautiful out. Well, I'll check in with you guys in a few minutes. Say what? Jesus Christ, I feel like I just spent the night at Snoop Dogg's house. Let's get the fuck out. Damn, I sat down and all of a sudden I, I had this beautiful spot where I was blocked from both sides. The wind was blowing at my cleave hole and I, I couldn't have had a better spot to just sit and chill right now. So, oh man, it was totally worth coming up here. What the fuck is that? And once again, these fire ass houses, man, these are dope. Man, that's all I need for a good time, man. Some cheech, some mother nature, and some music. And I'm fucking, I'm in the zone, auto zone. Oh, there's that old fucking Mazda again. I got a question for you, uh, seven heads about, like, with engines and shit. So, my DR200, for those of you that don't know, I have it jetted up to, I believe, like a 132 jet. Stocks, I believe, this is off the top of my dickhead, 125. So I've jetted up a good bit. And I think my my uh, pilot jet, my idle jet, whichever the fuck it's called, is, um, I think it's barely bumped up a cunt here. But what I wanted to know is, would, would I need to lower or higher my spark plug gap? Because I was wondering if that, ha that has a role in anything and maybe even making this thing even run better. So I'm wondering if any of you guys got any knowledge on that subject. Just if you guys can give me some quick input. The other day I was checking my spark plug, doing my little maintenance things I like to do to my bikes. My little checkups and whatnots. And I pulled the plug and I was wondering like, hmm, I wonder if I actually have to increase or decrease my spark on this. Or my, my gap on this. So, hey, if any of you guys can help me out with that seven head knowledge, I'd be, I'd be appreciative of that. You know what? I think I'm going to take the long way back. Instead of taking going back through the little town, I'm going to take this way. Oh, hell no, I'm not getting stuck behind that trash truck. This is the road that ends out at uh, Horton C.S., that Mexican restaurant. The cliffside Mexican restaurant. One of my favorite little spots to just come up and do a little drive to and get a little bite. Suck me down a little chili Riano. Oh, I just did that in front of that guy. What the hell? You are sometimes when I'm unknowingly doing these fucking like hand motions and shit. I wonder if these dudes like. I wonder what goes through these dudes' heads that see me doing that. They're probably going, is that guy sucking an air dick? It's like that scene from Scary Movie 2 where that chick gets the shit fucked out of her by the ghost. <laughs> and so it's like throwing her around the ceilings and walls and shit. <laughs> oh, whoa, why does the sky look all weird ahead of me? It's all blue and clear and it looks like apocalyptic in front of me. What the hell? Looks like it's raining out there somewhere. Doesn't it look like all rainy out there? Like fucking rain's falling out of the sky right there? Shit, I have a fan in the window too. It better not be fucking dropping where I live. It doesn't say that it's raining. Oh my gosh, I feel I just got a cool a cool ass breeze right here.
Oh man, look at that view though. Holy shit, that's killer. Jesus, the view's beautiful. I wonder if these are the same chains from like when this road was paved in like 1918, I believe it was. You can kind of see what I meant out there, huh? Like it looks like shit's falling. It's more towards the right, but the damn tree's in the way. All right, let's keep going. I like all these delivery trucks that are always pulled over on the side and they're probably just getting some fire ass little V ropes and taking a little break. It's a good route for guys that have to take, you know, this route all the time and shit. Like if you're driving all day, man, it doesn't get much better than having to just take this route. I can't wait until like Thanksgiving time rolls around and the weather gets cold again and I'm gonna be freezing my nips off coming up here and there's gonna be snow on the ground. I am not a summer dickhead. I am more of a winter dickhead over anything. I know some of you are like, fuck winter, because you guys probably get like a lot of snow and shit where you live or whatever. But out here, obviously, the winter is just the same weather, but just more cool. Dude, it's, it got like real dark and hazy out here. What the fuck? See that little dark spout in the middle right there? That literally looks like rain. Here's a little turn off that we took going into Crestline. I love all the little multiple like interconnected roads and highways through here where you can just kind of like have more than one way to get places. Well, from this point down, at least from the 18, you kind of stuck doing this route, but. Oh shit, my blinker's been on this whole time. Holy fuck. I'm a dumb shit. Watch downhill speed. Well, no fucking shit. I can only go 55 and that's the speed limit. Look, I'm not even going 55. Damn, it looks so wicked over there, dude. I can't get over how cool that looks. It looks so weird. The weather is like so bipolar today. Well, guys, as we slowly decline into San Bernardino and the heat starts rising as I can feel myself starting to burn from the inside out, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, when it's hot in these damn uh, summer days, or summer months, I should say, um, and I'm not uploading much, it's mostly just because of the weather, but when I'm not um, uploading, I am on Twitch every day if you guys give a fuck to hang out, cheech, and uh, just chill with me and shit. I love hanging out and talking with you guys in the chat, so if you guys want to stop by that sometime, be beautiful to see, see y'alls and say hi. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end her there because I did take only two and a half or one and a half batteries and this one's about to die. So, hey, as always, all links will be down below if you're going to support me in any way, shape or form, get with my shirts, keychains, stickers, etc. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the <laughs> out of that like button. And you guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later. Twin.